We are encouraged by the arrival of one of our most experienced and excellent diplomats, uh, Frank Ricciardoni, uh, who is, uh, is now the U.S. ambassador uh, you know, to Turkey. Um, we had uh, uh, been supporting his nomination uh, throughout the past year and, and uh, regretted uh, that the Senate uh, did not take action on his nomination, but it's a reflection of the importance that we attach to, uh, to the relationship between uh, Turkey uh, and the United States and the work that we do both on a bilateral basis and the work that we do uh, you know, cooperatively to try to solve challenges, whether it's in Iran on the one hand or Lebanon uh, on the other hand. Uh, and uh, he, he, will, uh, he will be an excellent representative for the United States. Uh, I expect uh, he's experienced. Uh, he's been an ambassador before. He's been in this region before. Uh, he has experience directly with Turkey. Uh, and, uh, and I expect he will, he will fully engage uh, the government, the opposition, and uh, broadly speaking, Turkish society. Turkey uh, has been supportive uh, of this process, and, and uh, uh, in Secretary Clinton's discussions with uh, Foreign Minister Davutoglu, uh, he has made clear that, uh, that Turkey continues to encourage uh, Iran to uh, uh, cooperate, uh, to engage the P5 plus one, and cooperate fully with the IAEA. And we think that is exactly the message that uh, Iran uh, you know, needs to continue to hear you know, from Turkey as well as uh, from other countries uh, th that are supportive of the, uh, of the P5 plus one, uh, you know, process. Because th this, is, this is not an issue between the United States and Iran. This is an issue between Iran and the international community. And the, and the issue is Iran's failure to account for uh, its nuclear program and, and convince the